Good morning, it's 8.03. I've had a couple of hours sleep, not much. It's club night tonight as well. It's going to be a lot of fun today. Um, just at a garage, local garage, um, to try and get this car fixed because I can't do much more about it at the minute. But look at this. Of course, the garage doesn't open till half past eight, but you know, it's beautiful out here. So, it's not such a bad loss. Well, it turned out he was too busy, too pretty booked uh, at this time in the morning. So I'm home now, save me a walk home, which is a shame because it's such lovely weather out there. But I'm in the warm and dry now, so that's a good thing. Now I could go back to bed, because it's 20 past 8, or I could get on and do some work, so as I'm up, that's what I'm going to do. What's up that? I'm going to bed. I was shopping for something on Amazon, went to the checkout and must have accidentally clicked the sign up to free Amazon Prime or whatever deal, uh, which I definitely don't want, so guess now what I have to do. I have to send this form to Luxembourg to cancel the thing that I didn't want in the first place. Pain in the arse of a day so far. Between one thing and another, between not walking home in the fresh coldness of this morning, which I hope would wake me up, to coming back to the computer just not playing ball at all. So I, th I couldn't get any work done, so I thought, you know what, I'll go to bed, which you saw. I thought I'd turn the computer off, woke up f five hours later or something. It's still not, it didn't really fully turn off, it's still not playing ball. Just ordered this thing off Amazon, which came to 90p over what was in my bank account, and of course the bank where I live closes at 3.30, this was now 10 to 3. So I had to find some change, run down to the bank, pay that in for 90p, come all the way home, and I have to go back out again in a minute, which is why I'm dressed like this. Then hopefully come back. I hope, just praying that I might be able to get some work done, and then go off to actually get paid for work at the club tonight. It's going to be one hell of a day. Oh, and then I have to get up early tomorrow morning to go back to the garage so they can fit me in. It's just, well, it's going to be a trying few days. Just arrived at the nightclub, got 10 minutes I think before I start, gonna get some food down me and then uh, see how it goes. Shoot some drunk students. Okay, it's home time. Okay, as ever, it was an interesting night. Um, one girl asked if I liked Marmite. And then gave me an address, whether it was her address or not, I don't know. And she was definitely with somebody. So that was weird. Um, and it's the first night since, well, in ten months of doing club photography, nobody's wanted a selfie with a beard. don't understand why. That's a bit of a weird, that's a really weird one for me. Quite unusual. Never mind. It is 2.30 in the morning which is reasonably early for me, so I'm quite happy. I am going to finish off this quickly, 
head to bed, get up at 20 past 7, drop my mother off at work, go to the go to the garage, walk home hopefully from that, and then edit last night's club photos, or tonight's club photos, and then probably, by the looks of things, go back to... I'm just about halfway through the stills photos. I can't show you too much of them because I haven't, you know, they're private or they haven't been released yet, so I can't show off too many of them. That's why it's been a bit quiet on that front. But all in good time. I hope to show you them if you're interested, of course. But what I can show you is this little shot from Lily, which I mentioned about earlier. It's the film I did back in August. And the guy in the bottom photo is my friend Max. I used to share a cabin with him on cruise ships on Piano Oceana. Um, he was the lab tech before I was the lab tech. He showed me all the ropes. He's just completed his master's in director of photography. And really stand-up guy. Go check out more of his work. Max Lavelle. Now. Now. Yeah, so... Tara. Thank you.